gnarly Ohio day here. But let me do a little uh, flower maintenance. You know, we get some questions, and this little pink one has been out here for about a year and a half, I'd say. And uh, it's pretty well normal. It's our regular old little three foot open price point little Elizabeth. But that flower there happens to be number 5,000. But let me uh, take it in the shop and show you what I do to uh, kind of maintain these. And if you want to want to keep them from uh, clean them and, you know, just take care of them. And a little bit of maintenance you can do on them. Everybody's been asking, so I figured I'd do a little video. All right, let's grab this thing. Like I said, this flower has been up there on my hill in the gravel. And it fell over and took a couple hits. You can see here on the edge. I don't, or it's knocked some powder scuffed it and it's starting to rust like i said i don't advertise our flowers as rust proof because they're metal sooner or later god's going to take them back uh, the powder is very durable but in between these layers of petals um, the powder has a hard time getting up in there so what happens is water lays in there when it rains and it, it actually rusts the metal underneath a little bit and then the rusty water runs down the flower just like this so this is pretty common where you can see that right there. This thing took a pretty good spill. Um, but anyways, the stem looks in pretty good shape. I'd say this is pretty average wear and tear. See, we all signed the back of it. See, it's number 5,000. So, pretty cool. And if you're not familiar, on the back of your flower, they just Righty tighty lefty loosey. What the heck is he talking about? Righty tighty lefty loosey. Okay, so if I'm going to rotate it clockwise, the top of the rotation is going to right. tighten up your flower head. If you're going to rotate it counterclockwise, the top of the rotation is going to the left. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Works on all standard bolts. Alright, so let's take this head off. Make sure you always keep a hand on it at all times because when you get to that last thread, they are going to want to fall. It's something about this gravity thing. It works really well. All right, let me get this head off and we'll get back at you. I put an old towel down on my welding bench and a couple things I do to clean is, flowers. I like this stuff. It's called LA's Total Awesome. I think you can get it at Dollar General. It's pretty cheap. I think it's like a two bucks or something for that that bottle um, <clears throat> that works good for cleaning a lot of this rust stains and stuff off and then I use I found this stuff back in the early spring and uh, it's by CRC and no I'm not affiliated with these people or awesome in any shape or any form it's just product that I yeah, found that worked at good. Walmart but you can also find it at most of your like auto parts store like advanced auto auto zone you know that kind of stuff O'Reilly's they probably have it I don't know you could I know you can buy it online too uh, but this stuff's a silicone spray and I'll show you how I use it to kind of protect you can also use WD-40 um, we've had really good results with that in the past but I really like what this I stuff. do I use a toothbrush and I use a scrub brush and dad's here, and welcome to winter because he looks like the abominable <laughs> dad. I'm doing a little video showing how to clean and maintain your flowers. I just got a regular old generic squirt bottle. And you want to uh, soak your flower down real good. Give it a good soak. And this stuff works pretty good. You can, you can see, look, it's already taking off the rust stains. Yeah, it's hard to do this one-handed and run the camera. You can get, see, but you can get back in here. Scrub hey, let, me, let me get the scrubbing. You can also use a little bigger, coarser brush for getting down. See, that's already that's already looking very little effort. And uh, this stuff here, that's awesome. If you let it, if you let it set for a few minutes too, that'll help. That'll help break that stuff up. But let me uh, let this set and. Do a little more scrubbing yeah. and then we'll get back there. Like I said, just, just scrub the heck out of it. Get it good. Like I said, I normally just leave my flowers out all year round and don't mess with them. Like, I wouldn't even worry about this. I'd just let it go and call it part of the aging process. But I've been getting 
oh, I don't know, every so often people ask me about how do you take care of your flowers and is there anything I can do to help them, you know, last longer and make them keep their luster longer and everything. And I, I tell them this tip, but figured I'd do a good video and put it out here on YouTube. it would be around forever. I'm even going to see if I can link it to my website, maybe at the top of the Facebook page, somewhere where it's easily accessible. All right, let me get back to scrubbing on here. This one hand thing isn't no fun. So, scrub brush and scrubbed it with the big brush, and you know I get the bristles up underneath and I did try to get it looking you know really good. Uh, and then what I'm going to do now is, is take the towel and start start wiping it off. But you know this is one of those cool projects that don't really take that long. You know, 15, 20 minutes at the most, half an hour. Um, but it's a cool project for a day like today where it's just nasty rainy out and uh, you don't have much going on you're, you're you're at home and and this is a good project you could you could do this anywhere you could do you know, it in this basement. whole cleaning with the soap process you can do this about anywhere and uh, and get it all dried up and cleaned up and looking good you can see how this is already looking better um, I need to oh yeah I need to wipe that off but I need to do this with two hands so now I'm cleaning the back side of it up same process squirt it down with your soap cleaner scrub it clean all the cracks and crevices and then uh, once we get it done I'll show you what else we can do to maintain it. down and cleaned pretty good you want to let it dry real thorough. I'm going to show you another thing you can do okay remember I showed you where this thing fell it took a really good hit in the gravel bent this up scuffed that pretty good uh, that's not through the powder so you don't have to worry but you can see right there where it hit and right, right here where, where it hit how it's starting to rust a little bit because it nicked the powder can do about that if you're worried about that. Um, one thing I, I, I can show you here is this stuff is uh, wet sandpaper and what you want to do is cut yourself a little piece off here and then take that area where the little bit of rust is and we're gonna go over it and you're gonna you want to be careful you don't want to hit your powder because you are removing material. What you want to do is sand that little bit of rust off of there. So that I mean, you want to do that by just putting it on the edge. You'll feel it with your thumb and kind of slowly work it. It's easier with two hands. If the 600 grit it doesn't seem like it's cutting it real well, you can go to a little more coarser. This is a 150 and uh, it helps a lot chewing into that. But you know, you can kind of see how I've kind of got it down to some bare metal there just got the tip and once we get that done we'll clean that again and let it dry and then I'll show you what we can put on there it's to down to bare metal be careful you don't want to scrape your surface out here with sandpaper uh, you just want to stay on that edge but what I'm going to do is I had a couple nicks on this thing and cleaned it up and then I'm going to do the whole cleaning process again where I'm going to hit these areas with some cleaner and then clean those up really nice so, and then once this dries, I'll get it cleaned up dry. I'll show you. What I did part. is, you know, we cleaned this up with a little bit of sandpaper, knock that edge off of that, let it dry real good. You want to get your, want to make sure all your seams and everything are dry really good. So you can leave it set in the house overnight. You could, uh, I took, you could take an air compressor with a blow nozzle and blow it out. Um, you know, you just want to make sure it's good and dry. Well, here's what, what the next thing you can do. If you had a nick on it, it's rusted, and you sanded it down and got it smooth, you can simply take some clear nail polish and apply it right on that edge. edge. And That's what right. you want to do is just put your clear nail polish on there. Coat it real good to kind of seal that up, and then let it dry. If you want to apply a couple coats, you can. Let it dry real well, and uh, then you can then apply your spray lube to clean it all. One thing to note, do not use any harsh chemicals on this. Do not use any um, nail polish remover. Um, do not use any like brake cleaner or anything like that. It will attack the powder. It's not good, not good. So avoid any harsh chemicals, any harsh cleaners. Um, do not use like vinyl siding cleaner because that actually, uh, starts attacking into the surface of the material so 
Simple soap and water, good cleaner, like I said, works great. I'm going to go around here and I'm going to touch up my areas that I sanded with uh, the clear nail polish here. And, uh, and then we're going to go to the, the last part of it. Uh, we made sure our clear, uh, everything's good to go, the flower's good and dried out. So this is where this stuff comes into play. And this stuff, what you want to do is you want to soak your flower real good down in all these areas. See how it goes on with like a thin water? Well, that's, that's allowing it to get back in and underneath all them areas that you want to be coated really well. So, soak it really good. This isn't going to hurt a thing. Soak it really good down in that center. Like I said, in behind, behind all this stuff. And then you can Flip it over and soak your back areas really good. This is number 5,000 flower. That's why everybody signed it, see? So. See, I'm soaking this down really good. So, even down in here. Now, once that's done, then you come back with your towel again and let this, you know, this stuff will harden up real nice because it goes on thin and then you wipe it off really good. Like I said, it's hard to do this one hand, but I figure you guys are getting an idea. So let me wipe it. All this cleaned off. up, ready to go back outside. Like I said, you can do this as often as you want. You don't even have to do it if you don't mind a little rust drip going down the side but there you go there it is how to maintain your flower have a great day